relax, and enjoy life. That's the conversation we're going to have here today on Self Love Monday. How you guys doing? This is Ron Simplified Myers, author, podcaster, and your uplifting life partner. Now, this is a conversation I've had in with many different people, but today I decided to really have a conversation on this because we're in a culture that makes you feel guilty if you're not always moving, always doing something that people call, uh, I mean, people would say is achieving, moving towards uh, something, some dream, some desire, uh, some goal. And I'm guilty of that. I mean, and, and, I, and I get on myself all the time about it. Before COVID, I was driving 12 hours a day, seven days a week. So when I wasn't driving, <laughs> which you can tell that's always driving, but when I wasn't driving, I'm at the house working on my projects, trying to get these videos out, uh, you know, the other stuff that I have, the other projects that I've worked on, trying to work on a, another book. I mean, it's just like, I mean, aside from the normal stuff of cleaning the house, cooking, you know, um, washing clothes, all the things you have to do for you during the week. Very, very limited time as far as sleeping, very limited time as far as for myself. And um, which is one of the reasons, you know, when I when people were asking me about the dating, why I wasn't actually dating, because you guys heard why I just described what was going on. Where was the time to actually put another person in that schedule? Because whenever I wasn't doing one of those things, I was trying to actually finally get some sleep. But that's kind of, again, why we're having this conversation today, because, again, I get on myself about it, and I want to share that with you guys, is we have to get to a point where you have to, and, and, and I've talked about it before, what Tony Robbins calls our power, where you take at least an hour a day to yourself, and, and you can tell by what I just said, I'm guilty of a lot of times not taking that time, but you have to. Because if you don't, and when he was talking about that hour of power, he's basically saying an hour a day committed to yourself. And in that hour, as he said, in, in a lot of instances, if you can walk and then and, and be, be grateful in the process, that's a good thing. But the reason, even if that's not what you're doing, but you need to take that hour to yourself. And the main reason you have to do that is because think about it. If you don't take time to yourself, eventually you're going to have that conversation that I'm always doing for others. I'm always going after a goal. I'm always trying to achieve. When do I get some time for me where I can just, and I mean, and that's one where unfortunately we call, we'll look at that and go, I just need to be selfish and take some time for myself. And it's like, that's not, that's something you should be doing. That's called healthy because you're with you 24 hours a day, seven days a week from the day you born to the day you leave here. That person deserves, deserves, and, I, and the reason I'm stressing deserve is for those of you who are parents, and especially single parents that go, well, I just can't do it. You're going to need to figure out a way to get that done. You deserve at least one hour. There's 24 in a day. Can you take one? And again, the major thing in taking it is for us not to feel guilty for taking it. Does that make sense? That's the main thing that we have to overcome because, again, the culture kind of teaches that if you haven't achieved, you haven't got where you need to go, how dare you actually think you deserve to sit down? And, folks, I've been like this. I can't even tell you. I know it's been over 30-some years, easily, maybe more, that... I have I I don't know how to take a day where I'm just going and I just haven't. I mean, I can't say there's a day that I just took where I said I'm not doing anything business, self-development because folks, even if I'm not doing so, I'm reading or I'm listening to something that has to do with self-development because I'm so wired that way make it where again, I almost feel guilty well, I can't say almost because I do because that's why I keep doing it. 
feel guilty that I'm not doing something. It feels I've convinced myself that this day is a waste. I wasted that day if I didn't do something in terms of moving towards the things that I, I desire. And so I'm really in this conversation, really talking to Ron. <laughs> I'm just talking out loud so you guys can hear it. Um, you got to find that time. You got to be able to take a day where you just go, you know what? I'm going to do, this is about me. And I'm not going to feel guilty. Now, I said just an hour, but you need to find a day <laughs> where you just do this. And I get, I understand if you're scheduled. And I mean, I understand that. So the whole day may be tough, especially if you're a, a parent and a single parent, that may be tough. But find an hour and work like crazy to find a day. If you can get some friends or something who could take the kids off the plate for you for a day. Or you can just say, this is about me. And if you're a couple, you got to do this. Um, it's best for you guys to do that at least once a week where you guys just take time. And again, it might not be where you could take a whole day, but at least, again, like that hour, a couple of hours, again, as people call it, date night, to where you and your partner just get away. And it's only about the two of you. And this, folks, this has nothing. This is not the self time. Now, don't get it mixed up. When I'm saying the couple, I'm just saying to make your relationship healthy and to keep your partner a priority. You guys need to take that at least once a week where you guys go out and do something. I don't care if you just go sit in a park somewhere together, but where you guys do something. But this is not the where what this whole conversation we're having today, because the conversation I'm having has to do with self relaxing your mind because again if you don't your family your kids your wife husband they're eventually going to pay for it because you're going to feel so burned out about life that because you're always going and you don't have that time to yourself you go what is it all for i don't get to enjoy any of it there's no fun life has become a job and that's the thing we can't allow to happen. We have to be able, and again, I'm having this conversation with Ron because I know, <laughs> seriously, whenever I get those times, I go to sleep because I'm like, finally some rest. But again, that's not the answer. And again, I'm having this conversation with me. That's not the answer. That's not the self-time that I'm talking about when I say that, even though that's kind of what I do. When I finally get a little time, I'm like, whoo. I'm getting ready to give me some sleep. That's not what I mean by self-time. I mean, go get your nails done, your toes done, uh, something for you. Uh, for some people, they just enjoy working out, going to the gym. That, for them, is self-time, and they love that. If that's not something for you, don't let people convince you you need to be at the gym because, again, this hour that I'm talking about is where some you truly enjoy and it's for you whether you start getting into painting um arts and crafts you know whatever it is that you you can find to do ride your bike just go sit in a park by yourself go sit in your car by yourself <laughs> if you ain't got no park close by but you got but i know you guys understand what i'm saying is that we have to learn how to relax and quit getting so caught up. And I was hoping this COVID would wake people up to realize what's really important. But I'm watching now that things are opening up. Most people didn't learn anything. They still didn't. They're still tense. They're still flipping each other off. They're still calling each other out of their names. They're still, I'm just like, I went to a, a, a funeral service. Um, this weekend. And one of the things that the pastor talked about was love. That we've lost it. And he was telling the sharing the story about his family and the fact that the the main person, um, his mom, who was the reason that the whole family came together, they get together all the time and hung out. And after she passed, everybody went their own separate ways. The family just, you know, some people, money is, you know, money became the dividing. 
Um, I know a family that's going through that right now where everybody's at each other and it's over money. And I, I just, I don't get it. I mean, the reason I don't get it is because I'm not a person that's, that I'm a person that believes if I need it or I want it, I'll go get it. I don't need, you know, and it's one of the things that I, that I've shared with my parents because they're always, you know, they've always talked to us about, you know, some of the things that they're trying to do and they want to leave things for us and all that. And I told them, I said, if you have something left behind when it's all said and done, beautiful. This ain't about us. This is your journey. Now, I know some people, some people are going to disagree with this, but this is their journey. I know because we're going to always hear your job is to leave an inheritance for the next generation and the next generation. Folks, if you can make that happen, that's good. I'm not going to be a person that's going to sit here and make you feel guilty because you didn't make that happen. These are grown folks. It's time for us to start being accountable and responsible for our own lives. It'd be nice if they if they did do that and they went out and they they prospered and was able to pass that on. Folks, that's beautiful. And that's what I shared with, 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 with my, my parents. If you have stuff to pass on when it's all said and done, beautiful. But not for one second would I tell you to take away from your life, for you being able to live, for you to enjoy this journey, because your your whole focus is you're trying to make sure you leave some behind for me. I'm an adult. And I know, again, I know some of you don't want to hear that and, and, and probably offended that I said that. And, and I'm sorry if that's the way you see it. But, folks, my thing is, and I guess, what again, what I, the reason I even brought that up is because watching families break up over money, over material things, over things that if the people felt kind of what I'm saying and they really learned to be responsible and took care of their own stuff, then they wouldn't be after each other, you know, in this way when there's money in play. I mean, I understand that 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 sometimes, you know, some family member left money and, and it's a nice sum of money and people are sitting there like, whoo. I understand that could get you really upset if somebody that you feel that maybe took advantage of. I, I can see where you guys would get mad at each other over, over that. I'm not saying I don't understand why people don't get upset. But to allow that to destroy the family when we can't just go. Because, folks, how you do some things is how you do all things. You guys have heard me say that many times before. The person that did the bad with the money, that is not a new characteristic. You knew if they were in control of the money or they had access to the money. You knew what they were going to do to begin with. That's who they are. That's what they do. Don't act like you shocked and now all of a sudden let it divide the family. Um, but anyway, I kind of got off track a little bit because <laughs> we were talking about relaxing and, and enjoying life. And that's really, but that is to me, that's a part of it. Part of the relaxing and enjoying life is, is not allowing this stuff to, to tear you guys apart, cause the family to go in other directions. Um, you know, I've I've watched even my family, who's who's very very close and always has been, but you know I've watched recently, and it's not breaking up over money or anything. That's not my. Fortunately, I'm in a family that I don't think that's going to happen or something like that. That we get divided over that because of kind of what I'm saying. We understand what's really important. And that's each other, but um, people have moved to different states and. Um, and so now it's kind of like, I mean, we used to have family day and it was just, the house is packed. And um, now I'm sitting here, you know, COVID's over and now everybody is can't actually get out and get together. But um, now, you know, because a lot of this movement that I'm talking about actually happened during COVID. So um, the changes that have taken place and I'm sitting here like, the things that were important are still important, I shouldn't say were in, I'm saying were in the sense of us being together. But the things that are important, which is my family, um, the time together, um, us 
probably trying to pull that together now. I mean, where it was every holiday? I mean, we're going to have to find a holiday where we can swarm everybody. I was just having a person I was talking to today. They just had a family gathering where it was 60 of them. And they said they do this like once a year. And they said towards the end of the night, everybody is drunk and everybody's talking crazy. And, and well, mama didn't treat you the way she did. You know, all those kind of conversations. And they were like, yeah, that's when we called we called Uber. It was like, we got to go. Because <laughs> they're like, yeah, it's that time. We got a chance to spend some time. So, folks, anyway, bottom line, uh, take some time to yourself. Uh, I, I, I got a little off there, but um, I really said, but we need to understand what's important. And that goes back to the relaxing and enjoying ourselves. Put us at the top of the list. Take care of us. And if you do that, then you'll watch all the other areas in your life start to uh, prosper and grow because you won't feel so overwhelmed. You won't start to treat people uh, in a uh, negative manner because for most people, they're stressed. And as we know, stress is the number one killer. People are stressed, so they snap on each other very quickly. And again, that's the whole purpose of this conversation. We got to learn to relax. Learn to actually enjoy life. Take some time for ourselves. And once we get that done, it's the same thing as I always talk about self-love. When we get to love us, then loving others becomes a lot simpler. And it's the same thing with this. When you learn to relax, spend some time with you, then it becomes a lot easier to spend time with others and appreciate them because of the fact that you're at peace. But when you don't have that time, time you spend with them, unfortunately, a lot of times it feels stressful. Why? Again, because you're going, this is all I do is for others and I'm never doing anything for me. So take that time. And that's the reason we're having this conversation today because nothing more important than taking care of you. Then, you're totally equipped to help others. So as you guys know, it ain't right and ain't wrong. It is my opinion. Now, for those of you who haven't had the opportunity to uh, check out the other things I do, run on over to ronsimplifiedmyers.online. Again, ronsimplifiedmyers.online. Check me out. And again, I'll have my app up here within the next few weeks, and I'll let you guys know that, and then that'll make it easier to, to follow what I got going on. Um, but anyway, as you guys know, if you're not having fun, you should be doing something else. Take time to enjoy yourself and do not, you hear that, Ron? You hear that? <laughs> do not let the world make you feel guilty when you take that time for you to relax because that's when you'll start to truly enjoy life. I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care. Bye-bye.